The halibut St. Augustine. You want to cut a pocket into the halibut because you want to have a little open space in the center of it. So there's the top and the bottom. So you have a better space to put the king crab which you just shocked in. Okay. It'll hold the chunks better. You can line up the leg meat. So paint the sheet with butter. Your halibut fillet goes in the center. Fold up the filo dough. We're going to do another layer of filo. Okay. I like that. A few layers of filo dough because the halibut's so uh, moist, soaks through the first layer quickly. So you need to have a second and then a third layer. And the third one is the one, the final wrapping. It's a very lean fish. There's very little fat on it. It cooks really nicely. Let's see if I can get this tied up here. Tied up with the green onion. And we have our halibut in a little package. Brush the outside with butter so it browns up nicely. Into the oven at 350 degrees. 15 minutes is usually pretty good. It's come out to a nice golden brown now. You want to feel it if it's firm. Get your spatula. Place the package directly on top of the, directly on top of the rice. The sauce just can go directly on the top. Some of the morels. Mm -hmm. We just have some grilled vegetables, grilled squashes, a little color around them. Halibut St. Augustine. That's it. And it's really my goal for this dish to be about the halibut, not about the breading. Then we're gonna dredge it in the egg, like that. And then knock off the excess. And then I give it a shake and bake. This is a hard one. I teach my students this, everybody, the nuts go everywhere. But see, the end result is the fish is lightly breaded and not packed with breading. Clarified butter, we use some oil, got that hot, and we're gonna put the fish in there and we're gonna let it make a nice brown coating on one side. And then once it's once that's done, we're gonna turn it over and just put it directly in a hot oven, about a 400 degree oven, and let it finish cooking on the other side. And this is a traditional Thai red curry. We'll put a little puddle of the sauce on the plate. So now we'll plate the fish on there. I will garnish it with a generous spoonful of the mango chutney. And then what we do is we fry some lotus root, some fresh lotus root up, and make little chips. And then I have a piece of taro. This is our macadamia crusted halibut. Nice. I'm going to pull those off for a minute. Halibut's getting seared up. It usually takes about five to eight minutes, depending on how big or thick a piece your halibut is. The main thing about cooking fish is not overcooking it. If you cook it until the point that you start to see the white or the fat that's in the fish run out, then it's overcooked and it's going to become flaky and dry, almost get that sawdusty texture, you know. So it needs to be pretty much a medium rare item. Then we'll go into a nice 350 oven with that to finish that off. While I'm doing that, I'll deglaze the pan with a little bit of wine. And that'll get off some of the flavors that we left in the pan. So we got some of the herbs, some of the actual bits of the halibut. We'll add in our roasted tomatoes. We did that a little bit beforehand. A little Kalamata olive. Go with a nice Mediterranean theme. As we're doing that, we'll finish off our pasta. So now we've got the nice flavors of the roasted tomatoes, a little bit of saltiness from the Kalamata olives, and some of the uh, fresh flavors from the halibut as well. We're going to finish it off. This is a little lemon herb butter. It's butter, fresh herbs, uh, lemon zest, a little bit of lemon juice. This will add that richness back into the flavor so that it kind of complements the halibut, definitely complements the halibut. We'll check the halibut out. It should be real close. And what we're looking for with the halibut is, as you can see right here, it's starting to flake apart just lightly. And inside, a little bit opaque, not too overcooked. It gives to the touch a little bit. It doesn't just flake apart. That, to me, is perfect for the halibut. A nice little colorful pasta on the bottom, some of the nice autumn flavors. Take the halibut up. Right on top there. And that keeps the halibut nice and fresh, I think. Take a little bit of the sauce to we'll go around. We'll nap just a little bit right on top. Just to add some color. And there we have our dish. A nice herb seared halibut with, on a bed of capellini pasta with autumn greens.
and a nice ragu of sun-dried roasted tomatoes, roasted uh, red peppers, Kalamata olives, and uh, a little bit of lemon herb butter. Mm. There's nothing like fresh wild Pacific halibut paired up with a beautiful Pinot Gris. What a great Alaskan experience.